All right, what's up everyone? It's Spencer, Maddie, Justin's behind the camera. And we have our um, two new jet skis. Comes with a purple trailer and two jet skis. So it seems like a good deal. Our house yeah, doesn't have a garage, so we're gonna put it underneath our carport slash <laughs> back slash, patio. Slash, this is our new patio furniture. All right, Justin, what did we find? So it's currently 35 degrees out. We got two jackets. We're freezing, but it's 10 o'clock. We're working hard here. Um, so the bottom of the block here actually blew out. And the owner just said it blew up. We stopped. We pulled it in. We didn't, know, we didn't do anything about it. And uh, I had my fingers crossed that they didn't keep letting the engine run and seize the entire engine. So we took it apart. Um, here's the top of the head. You can see all of the different little particles of metal here. And then when we come over here, you can see not really any particles. And then over here, we're uh, fine as well. But if we come down here, and I did push this one down before the video, but I think it's at the bottom. Um, but if I push one of the other ones down, you can see it's working so um but you can see that the third one is not moving which means the uh, bottom of the piston's not connected to the crankshaft or the crankshaft actually broke in half so we'll have to figure that out but we do have motion which is really good so let's keep on diving down so we're currently taking the engine apart we've got the exhaust fully disassembled here I tried to take the manifold off, but there's one bolt I can't quite get to. So I decided to use a bunch of extensions and get all of the um, two, four, six, eight bolts out. And we have the uh, throttle linkage disconnected here. I haven't yet tested it to uh, pull it out. So uh, you're witness witnessing this firsthand. Let's see if it'll pull out. It is a little heavy, so let me get some leverage here. Yeah. Connected to something. But hey, there we go. You can see one piston still in the cylinder, so that's not good. That's why we're fixing it though. Sorry for filming during the night, but that's usually when I can work on it. It's one beautiful Saturday here in Boulder, Colorado, but we are going to look at this a little bit and you can see this connecting rod bearing is good, but you can see it slammed in and completely broke this channel. I think this is the back pressure or the negative pressure to cause the or inside the crankcase to pump the fuel. And you can also see over here this is a complete bump. So, trash pistons trash uh the connecting rod is trash but you can see this bearing is good let me go over to the engine uh first cylinder is good second's really good the third one not so good uh we go over here and you can see the wall is completely blown out on the top and bottom part of the crankcase and i still need to check out the crankshaft here but the uh, connecting rod uh, is frozen stuck so that's not good either hopefully I don't need a new crankshaft or else this is gonna be a really expensive rebuild but surprisingly the uh, pistons heads look really good the, he didn't run it too lean or anything um, the only other thing that I need to be a little bit careful about is the little bit of pitting inside the uh, first cylinder as well so half and that's uh the one that blew so i wonder if that's part of the cause i'll have to take a look stay tuned 